Terrence Crawford, 27 years old, actually the older fighter by two years in this fight, but they both should be in their physical primes. Delorme a little taller, Crawford a little better reach as measured from the armpit to the end of the fist. They both weighed in on under 140. From Carolina, Puerto Rico, former NABF and NABA welterweight champ and the current NABF lightweight champion, super lightweight champion, Thomas Cordero Dulorme. From Omaha, Nebraska, USA, the former WBO lightweight champion of the world, Terrence Bud Crawford. La pelea limpia. Poncho Sobigil gonna be okay. Puños aquí van a estar bien. Buena suerte a los dos. Good luck. Both of you. Let's do it. The question in this fight might be, is Tomas Delorme mean enough inside that ring to deal with Terrence Crawford, who's a mean little fighter, said, I'm not the guy to be talking, I'm the guy to jump. <laughs> and he means that. Always a very smart kid. It's on a fight, and here Delorme seems to want to upset that, setting the pace, and maybe Crawford has somewhat subdued him already by easily blocking these shots. But Crawford's smart. Uh, Delorme knocked out by Carlos Abregu, his only loss. Patient in the corner. Well, it means a lot because it uh, gets strange if there's a moment of distress such a good professional fighter because of his calmness. I'm ready to get all of his good energy out and then he'll start fighting Delorme. Delorme trying to step up the activity but Crawford easily weaved both jabs. Delorme, he's doing things that are working things but he's not really doing things that are boxing things. Later on, from Verona, New York, Matisse Provodnikov, which, Roy, the bell hasn't rung for it yet, and it's already almost a fight of the year candidate. World War III is about to break out in Verona. The chess match that many anticipated. Just to let him know I can hit you whenever I get ready. And, and just then, rolls with the shoulder, so Delorme's punch goes wide and connects with his own inside. When you say he's working, but he's not really making boxing moves, Roy, can you go into that a little bit? Yeah, I mean, he's throwing punches, but he's throwing punches with no intent afterwards. Like, see that what he just did? He just did a straight right lead, and he knew he was going to bail out after that because he expected to make contact with that punch. Watch. Okay, Delorme landed a good upper shot, uncut there, but that was just a reactive thing. He threw an overhand right and followed with a left uppercut. Nothing that he set up, he just threw it. He belonged to a hook with no intent of doing anything after it. And throws a flailing left hook to which Crawford responds with a straight right hand that lands and, when, and a jab. And while Crawford is throwing his straight right lead, he's eventually going to try to set up a hook after it. Thanks, Harold. And Roy, I can see that. While, while Crawford, you could see, was strategically in control of the fight, in terms of the actual action, Delorme was busier in the first two yeah, rounds. Yeah, because like I said, he's working, he's pushing the issue, but he got to do it with boxing intent to last 10 rounds or 12 rounds. And at some point, he has to start making real boxing moves. In and catching Crawford on the way in. Crawford switched to southpaw. Crawford is fighting maybe a little more tentatively because he's at 140 pounds against a big 140-pounder. And chances. And those punches don't quite have the same effect on you if you've done your work. If you've done your work later early in the fight. But if you land landed early, it could cause all types of problems. Crawford smiling at Delorme. Delorme staying. Staying behind the jab, not allowing Crawford to actually dominate the action, even if Crawford's giving the impression that he's under control. Crawford better be careful because the Roma is a big puncher here. Good right hand, the end of that round by Crawford. The work ethic that uh, Delorme has. It does, that was a good boxing move. Like I told you last round, now he's starting to do boxing moves, and it may be that he's warming up now. Staying orthodox for now. Looks like he was thinking about giving Southpaw a try just then. Ah! 
looking at this total punches landed so far. Delorme's thrown 266, landed 19%, but because he's busier, he has the advantage through five, 50 to 43 over Terrence Crawford in terms of punches landed. And that was might be the only one that matters so far. Exactly. That's what I was trying to tell you. He's right about to about round six, and you see what happened in round six. All that boxing studying through the first five has paid off big here in six for Terrence Crawford. He's measuring and tattooing Delorme in the corner. Crawford, just with surgical precision, drops Delorme again. That's flashing good power for Terrence Crawford against the big guy for the 140-pound division. Big Look power. at the accuracy here, Roy. The way he's setting him up, the way Terrence Crawford is setting Delorme up for these surgical strikes. And he's smart. He's beating the head and the body mass. He's not just head hunting. This is what you want to see in a good champion. He's not just tricky head hunting when he has to get hurt. He's going to the head and the body. It's pretty clear through those first five rounds, Crawford studied up and now knows every single thing he has to do, and he did it. That is a sensational sixth-round knockout for Terrence Crawford. One sensational performance after another. Look out, junior welterweights of Tomas Delorme. And here are the two shots that hurt him, Roy. Measured him, hit him with the left and the right hand. Faded the jab and hit him with the hook right hand, something he had been setting up behind the jab all night, which is what I told you earlier. When he's used that jab, he's looking for what he can do afterwards. And it's what he did after the jab is what hurt Thomas Delorme. When you saw Delorme punch, he wasn't doing that. See that? Hook right hand right over the top. Right off of a faint jab. He fainted the jab like he's going to throw the same jab he's been throwing, but he changed it to a hook right hand. And he had been doing this all night long. It just was a matter of time before he went with the gusto. I went with the killing punch. And then it seemed, once he had him badly hurt, here's the second knockdown. It seemed that he had studied up in the first five rounds and knew every single thing he had to do once he got Delorme hurt. Of course, once he got him hurt, he just had to keep on hitting him. Uh, he's fatigued a little now. Once the fatigue sets in, you just keep throwing at him. He caught him with that clean right hand, and down he went again. And here's the end. I mean, Delorme never truly had his legs back, Roy, and possibly could have continued fighting, but it was clearly academic at that point. Crawford seemed to have beaten the fight out of him. Crawford made sure he beat the head and he beat the body so that he would never get his legs back. That's the mistake a lot of guys make when they're trying to finish. They beat the head, but they don't beat the body to ensure that the opponent doesn't regain consciousness. Ladies and gentlemen, the star continues to rise for the fighting pride of Omaha, Nebraska. He is still undefeated. And he is now a two-time world champion and the new WBO 